Welcome to On The Mark. This week we are at the Ecofisk Center in the middle of the North Sea, one of ConocoPhillips' legacy assets for the past 30 years. The Ecofisk area consists of eight fields with 30 platforms and at least 1,000 people working at all times. We'll have more on Ecofisk later in the show, but first let's take a look at some other company news. On Friday, Qatar Petroleum and ConocoPhillips announced the signing of a heads of agreement for the development of Qatar Gas 3, a large-scale liquefied natural gas project servicing the United States natural gas market. The signing ceremony took place at the Qatari Embassy in Washington, D.C., and was attended by U.S. Secretary of Energy Spencer Abraham, Qatar's Minister of Energy, H.E. Abdullah bin Hamid al Adia, and ConocoPhillips President and Chief Executive Officer, Jim Mulva. And this, as I said, is a legacy asset position for the company. It's going to provide great potential for us in terms of cash flow and income, and most importantly, provides a real long-term secure source of clean, efficient energy to the U.S. market. Well, everyone wins when a good operating plan comes together. That's the thinking behind the Variable Cash Incentive Program, or VSIP. VSIP rewards employees for their contributions to the company's success on critical performance measures. VSIP is a global program for non-store, hourly, and salaried employees. Well, VSIP is one element of the total compensation and benefits package. And for most employees, the target award percentage is 7.5% which could add to your annual total salary at the end of the year. It's variable because employee compensation is actually linked to the success of the company as well as their business unit. Uh, award payouts vary based on how well the company performs as well as how it performs relative to peer companies. Read the July issue of OnStream to learn more about the Variable Cash Incentive Program. This summer, ConocoPhillips Wholesale Marketing Group is launching a new proprietary credit card program for Conoco, Phillips 66, and 76 brands. All three programs have merged and been outsourced to Citibank. With the launch of the proprietary program this month, ConocoPhillips will significantly increase its access to potential new account holders and boost account growth through all three of the company's leading major brands. In 2002, pre-approved mail solicitations for all three brands numbered 3.6 million pieces. In 2004, our goal is to mail close to 20 million pre-approved offers. This means one thing, more approved customers and more business. When you look at the upside potential of partnering with Citibank, there's no comparison. To apply, pick up an application at gas stations or contact Citibank. Applications for Conoco and Phillips 66 are available now. Applications for the 76 card will be available in August. The Ecofisk area was discovered in 1969. Since that time, it has produced more than 2.5 billion barrels of oil equivalent. The value creation of Ecofisk is an amazing 180 billion U.S. dollars. That's almost 30 times the value of all the gold in Fort Knox. Here's a closer look. The Ecofisk complex is located 200 miles offshore, southwest of Stavanger, Norway. ConocoPhillips is the operator of the Ecofisk field, which produces 400,000 barrels of oil equivalent every day. The oil is transported to the east coast of England, and the gas is transported to Germany. The Ecofisk story is quite a magnificent story. It's, uh, it's a world-class field. Actually, today, still, still with 30 years of uh, oil and gas production in Norway, the first field to be discovered, Ecofisk, is still the, the biggest, have the biggest remaining reserves. Well, Ecofisk will be here a long time. Our license period is to 2028. But there will be oil production after 2028. Thanks to creative technical solutions and good reservoir management, the recovery rate in the Ecofisk area has been increased from 17% in 1971 to 46% today. We started uh, injecting water into Ecofisk field in 1987. That was the first time they ever injected water into a chalk field. 
It's been the key thing that we have increased the recovery up to 46%. So we have produced about extra about 1.2 billion barrels of oil equivalent. The weather can oftentimes be treacherous at Ecofisk. You know, you can get up to 100 knots wind, waves 18, 20 meters. And sometime in the winter, it gets pretty cold. This rough weather makes safety even more important. It's a very safe place. You know, we have very few accidents, incidents, and we put a lot of effort into preventing accidents to happen. A state-of-the-art medical facility provides immediate assistance in case of emergency. We have uh, excellent medical facilities. You know, today they have facilities to monitor the heart, transmit the data to the hospital in town, and they can actually start treatment and prevent heart attacks. It's a very safe place to be. Actually, you're better off here than in most places onshore. The crews at Ecofisk are offshore for two weeks at a time and work 12-hour shifts. So you would expect recreation to be quite important. But what you might not expect is that a weekly golf tournament has become one of the most popular recreational events at this facility in the middle of the North Sea. And then you get a, a nice t-shirt with the Ecofisk uh, offshore golf. And I think it's uh, probably the, the most attractive entertainment. You know, there's about 40, 50 people.